ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Talk about pops. Okay. So Brittany Grinner, Griner. I, I don't know how you put Grinner. I always butcher her last name. I apologize. It's not on purpose. I think it's Grinner. But, okay, anyhow, the lady that was in Russia, she got, you know, arrested by the Russians because she was sneaking weed into the country. She had a vape pen, and they said that's illegal in Russia. So we ended up trading her for, like, an arms dealer, okay? And so she came back to America. And, you know, it caused a lot of, you know, mixed feelings. Um, a lot of people are not happy with the trade. But, you know, again, do I feel like she should have been locked in a dungeon, you know, for the rest of her life because of a vape pen? Absolutely not. You know, we're, we're glad to have her back here in America. But what you're not going to do, Brittany, is, you know, remix history. That's what we're not going to do. So recently, Brittany has been on a hobo tour um, announcing to the world that she's an expected father. <laughs> okay. Um, her and her wife, they're expecting it. Well, they were expecting a child. So she did an interview the other day and basically let the world know that the baby was born. Okay, the baby was born in July. Shout out to the July baby. Um, but this interview is very interesting. It caused a lot of controversy for people like me who just have common sense. I was confused by what she was trying to insinuate. So let me go ahead and pull up this clip here. Give me just a second. All right, go on, Brittany. So that's her, Miss Brittany Griner. Griner. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and watch this interview real quick. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. It's way better. All right, let's watch this. About to be a mom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get pops. it together. Pops. About to yeah, be a pops. pops. Please tell me how exciting that is for you and what you're looking forward to most. I'm super excited. Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll just drop it. He's here. Um, so he's here. Yes. Seven, eight, 24. Um, yeah. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Yeah. That's my man. Um, I love he, that. He is amazing. Uh, they say, you know, as soon as you see him, it's just like everything that you thought mattered just goes out the window. Mm -hmm. And that's literally what happens. Um, it's crazy kind of sucks because i got to leave yeah you know but at the same time uh yeah it, it, he'll, he'll understand he'll expect understand. There, there's probably one other child all right so y'all just y'all just heard that so you know me i be you know i don't post anything on my page once again madia posts all this stuff so I, i'm a spectator like the rest of the internet i just be you know walking around the net like pops so this is what i wrote on instagram I said, so why isn't Pops playing in the NBA since she considers herself a man? A dad slash Pops is a male, argue with your mama, not me. She's also a deadbeat dad because her first kid she got were twins with Glory. Um, and when they divorced, she stopped dealing with the twins because they weren't from her eggs. Shake my head, clown. So a lot of people were shocked by this. Um, I talked about this years ago. You know, I make a lot of content. But for y'all who don't know, Britney's been running around this bitch acting like this is her first child, okay? And, you know, and to me, that's not right. You, you had twins with Glory. You, you, you and her and Glory put hands on each other. Domestic violence situation. They were both arrested. And um, because, Glo because the twins were used with Glory's eggs, all of a sudden you didn't want anything, to, you know, you didn't want to have anything to do with her or the twins. Glory had to take you to child support court. And remember, you was telling TMZ that you felt like you didn't have to pay because you didn't know whose sperm got her pregnant. <laughs> Can't make this shit up, okay? Y'all not keep receipts. So let's go ahead and uh, follow the sperm trail, okay? So who remembers this? Remember their whole paternity issue? But remember, she was an excited dad. 
So one minute you're a dad, you got twins on the way, but now when it comes to child support, now you want to be a woman. You can't make this shit up. So yeah, who remembers this? I need Glory's medical records to follow the sperm. <laughs> so we have to we have to follow the sperm trail. So let me go ahead and read this article. WNBA star Brittany Grinner wants estranged wife Glory Johnson to ante up medical records to prove that for once and for all, rather the kids at the center of their child support are hers or a child by Glory's ex-boyfriend. It's messy. It gets messy. Uh, Grinner admits that she and Glory agreed to have children with the help of a fertility clinic. She also seems agreeable to pay child support if Glory was inseminated at the clinic. <laughs> but as TMZ Sports previously reported, Grinner has a strong suspicion that the sperm came from Glory's ex-boyfriend. If that's the case, she shouldn't have to pay Glory in <laughs> child support. This is why Grinner wants to get to the bottom of things by pursuing Glory's <laughs> medical record. <laughs> shit up that's why with shot how she was acting like you know oh it's pops now well what about these two you weren't trying to be pops to the twins you were you were looking for the original sperm donor after y'all decided together as wife and wife to go on this journey and this tends to happen a lot wasn't there like a youtube lesbian couple they decide to you know become mom and pop and then once they got broke up all of a sudden stuff you got to take the responsibility. Okay, was the name Domo? Okay, Domo, I remember hearing about that. You got to take the responsibility because if this was a biological man, they'd be on the hook for child support because the sperm and the DNA. You can't just, you can't be like, I'm, I'm a man when it's convenient, call me pops. Well, what about the, the last two kids that you just decide to wash your hands of? They had to literally force Brittany to pay child support. I believe she's paying now. I don't know. But, you know, the fact that they had to force her when you decided to, you know, you went into this wanting kids. And then once y'all beat each other's ass and the relationship didn't work, now it's, well, I'm just a woman again. I don't, you know, we need to find out what sperm impregnated her. What does it matter? And now Glory's back not gay. Now she's with some white man. I said, well, what in the hell's going on here? Now she's not gay no more. She got a white man, you know, on her hip. Brittany says she's a pop, but you weren't a pop. To, I'm just, the whole the whole situation is confusing, okay? And what, what I'm not going to do is play, you know, mental gymnastics. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not entertaining the foolishness. Brittany, you're not a pops. You're a mom. Again, if you were a pops, then why are you not playing in the NBA? But y'all are not ready for that conversation. That's what I always find funny is that, you know, a lot of women, and I don't, people are saying that she's transitioning because her voice is so deep. You know, I don't know because I don't know what she sounded like before. I've never really listened to her until the whole Russia thing. I mean, it blew me away like, damn, sound like a nigga I went to school with. But, um, you know, her voice is very deep, so maybe she is transitioning to be a man. But one thing I will say about females who transition to, to men, they kind of understand that biologically they're not men. You know, they can wear the titles, but they, they understand that because you notice a lot of females who transition, they're not trying to play in the NFL. They're not trying to be in the NBA. They're not trying to be, you know, in the um, MMA playing against men. They kind of understand that biologically, it's it's kind of hard for her to play against a LeBron James or, you know, whoever, insert name here, right? But do you notice when it's the opposite, when it's a man who wants to be a woman, all of a sudden they want to be in women's spaces. They want to be the first female cyclist. They want to be the, the fastest female swimmer. Leah Thompson, who sucked when he was a male swimmer. So, I mean, at least I'll give her that that she's choosing to just play in the WNBA. But I'm not gonna call her Pops. I'm not gonna do that. Enjoy your baby. Um, babies are a blessing, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't forgot.
I ain't forgot about the twins and the messy situation and you not wanting to be a pop in that situation. So that, that's just what kind of made me laugh. I'm like, hold up, now she wants to be called pops? Well, this ain't your first rodeo, ma'am. You literally went on a sperm hunt to, to, to not be called pops because you didn't want to have anything to do with glory. Now all of a sudden you want to be pops. It doesn't work that way. Men don't get that, that option, right? If a man impregnates somebody, even if he didn't want to be with the woman, if the DNA test results comes back on the Maury show that you are the father, guess what, you're pops. And guess what, you're on the hook for child support. So again, if we're gonna play this role where we wanna switch genders and switch names, you gotta take everything that comes with it. You can't pick and choose. That's all I'm saying. So, it is what it is. I just find that very interesting. Cause like I said, hold up now. No, you don't get to just pick and choose when you want to be called pops. I'm, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> entertaining that. Especially the fact that now Glory for a while was a single mom. You know, like I said, she got a man now, but she's been raising them twins on her own. We ain't forgot. Y'all know I'm gonna clock it and keep the seats, okay? Yeah, so I, I just find that whole situation funny. It, it caused a lot of controversy online. People are not here for it. Um, you know, it is what it is at this point. But yeah, she she kind of her and Glory. They were they were very like I said. They she left her. They got married. Then she left during the pregnancy after they put hands on each other. Here goes another uh, thing here. You can see the bruises here. They both put hands on each other. They ended up being suspended for seven games. So they both, you know, the WNBA didn't play that shit. Y'all not going to be, this ain't the hood, bitch. Okay, because they were both WNBA players. And, you know, sometimes, you know, we got we all got lesbian friends, especially the studs. You know, they, they want to, like, I don't know. I just feel like they tend to get into it a lot, you know. Um, Females get into it anyways, but I noticed that with like a lot of my lesbian friends, they tend to beef like men. Like they, they want to show their dominance or something. So the WNBA wasn't having that. They're like, y'all are not going to be putting hands on each other and fighting. And, you know, the 911 uh, went viral. It was very disturbing. So they were both suspended for seven games. And then after that, she filed for divorce. And then after that, she was demanding to not be on the hook for child support because clearly she didn't get her pregnant. You know, so... It's a very interesting situation, child. Somebody says they were on Yes to the Dress. I heard about that. Yes to the Dress Atlanta. I didn't watch the episode, but I heard that they were on Yes to the Dress. She said Yes to the Dress and then uh, a not the marriage like literally 28 days later. So very interesting. Very interesting. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.